Hey folks, uh, this lesson is volume of rectangular prisms. So we did uh, surface area of prisms, surface area of pyramids, and this one's volume. Volume is always in cubic units. Don't forget all your lessons can be found right there at that groovy website. Okay, so here's our question. How can we find the volume of a rectangular prism uh, that have frac fractional edge lengths? Okay, so mixed numbers. So if we know the length, width, and height of a rectangular prism, we can use this formula, volume equals, you just multiply these three numbers right here, and it's equal to volume. And so if you ever have any question that involves area, like um, surface area, or lateral area, or just area, area always ends in square units, so like uh, centimeters squared, inches squared, feet squared. Anything with volume always ends in cubic units, so it would be centimeters cubed, inches cubed, feet cubed, meters cubed, anything cubed, whatever the units are cubed. Okay, so volume always cubic units and areas always square units. All right, so here we go. A bento, you guys, is a single portion meal that is common in Japan. The meal is usually served in a small box. It's called a bento box. I didn't know this. And so in the shape of a rectangular prism, just like a box, you know, a cereal box, something, something like that. So if a bento box is five inches long, four inches wide, and two and a half inches high, how much food can the box hold? Okay, that's a volume question. How much food can it hold? So we'll underline the sentence that tells us what we're trying to find. Okay, so it's it's this part of this sentence right here. How much food can the box hold right there? And then circle the numbers that we're going to use. I'm not going to circle them. I'm going to put boxes around the five, the four inches, and the two and a half inches right there. Okay. All right, so let's find the volume of this prism right here. Since we know the length, the width, and the height, okay, so it's uh, five inches long, there's the length, four inches wide, that's the width, and it's two and a half inches high, that's the height. We're going to use this formula, volume equals length times width times height, okay? All right, so I just put the problem down here so we can use those numbers still, okay? So let's sketch the rectangular prism. Okay, so there it is right there. And then we're going to go ahead and identify the values. Okay, so we know uh, the length is 5 inches, and the width the width right here is uh, 4 inches wide, and it's 2 and a half inches high. So we'll put 4 inches, 2 and a half inches. So 4 inches wide, 2 and a half inches high. So I had to squeeze that 2 and a half inches in right there, okay? All right. So now we're going to replace L with 5 in the formula, okay? And we're going to replace W with 4, and then we'll replace H with uh, two and a half right there. So it's going to be five times four times two and a half, okay? And then now we're going to go ahead and multiply, okay? There's a couple of ways to multiply this. I think an easy way is to go ahead and multiply these whole numbers. Five times four is 20. And then 20 times two and a half is the same as 20 times two plus a half. And then we can distribute 20 times 2 is uh, 40, and then 20 times 1 half is 10. Okay, a half of 20 is the same as 20 times a half. And then 40 plus 10 gives us 50 inches cubed. So the bento box can hold 50 inches cubed of food, so or of water, or of anything. So the volume basically is 50 inches cubed right there. Okay, explain how we know what units to use for the volume of the box. Okay, well the side lengths are given in inches, so the volume was uh, going to be an answer given in uh, inches cubed or cubic inches. So just remember, anything that says area is square units, anything that says volume is always cubic units. All right, so we know that the volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height. And since the product of the length and the width is, uh, uh, is the area of one of the bases, look, length times width, this could be the rectangular bottom piece right here. And we can just say it's going to be base times height, okay, where base is, uh, where B is um, the area of a base, okay. So another way to find a volume of a prism is if they give you the area of one of the bases, then you just you just take that area of the base times the height, because this right here is our length times width. Length times width is this area of the base. It's the area of one base. Okay, here's an example right here. So let's find the volume of this prism right here. Okay, now I know that this is the area because it's in inches squared right there. Okay, remember anything that's in squared units is area. So this is the area of this base right here. So we can use that formula, volume equals base times height. 
and the base is 9 inches squared and the height is 2 and a fourth inches. So the height, let's go ahead and put that in, is 2 and a fourth inches. The area of the base is 9 inches squared. So we can go ahead and plug it into the formula. We're going to replace B with 9 and H with, uh, whoops, I slid that up, B with 9 and H with 2 and a fourth. Okay, so we're just going to multiply. All right, now let's change, um, uh, uh, let's change 2 and a fourth to a mixed uh, to a fraction greater than 1. Okay, do you remember how to do that? We do the denominator, the 4 times the big number. 4 times 2 is 8, and then 8 plus 1 is 9. So this becomes 9 fourths right there. Okay, remember doing that? All right, now we're going to multiply. Okay, so we're going to multiply 9 over 1 times 9 over 4. So 9 times 9 is 81, and then uh, 80, and then 1 times 4 is 4, so 81 over 4 right there. And then we'll change it back into a mixed number. So what we do is we divide the bottom into the top. So 4 goes into 81. Okay, 4 goes into 8 two times, and we multiply, and we get 8, and we're going to subtract now. Okay, so we subtract, and we bring down the next one. Okay, 4 goes into 1 zero times, and we got to do that zero right there because, because um, uh, we have one more place value to, do, uh, to divide into. Okay, so it becomes 20 right there, and then so 4 times 0 is 0, and when we subtract, we still get a remainder of 1. Okay, so we start at the top and go clockwise. It's 20 and 1 fourth. Okay, or sometimes you can see that 4 goes into 81 20 times with 1 left over, so 1 fourth right there. Okay, so the volume of this, um, this prism right here is going to be 20 and 1 fourth inches cubed right there. Okay, all right. All right, so let's find the volume of a cubed. Okay, so what the, there's a shortcut for the volume of a cube. It's just your side cubed. If it's a cube, you can do length times width times height. But since they're all the same, it's going to be, and if this is S, S times S times S is S cubed. So that's the volume of a cubed right there. So let's go ahead and substitute in 3.5 in right there for, for our formula. So this is the formula for the volume of a cube. Volume equals S cubed. Okay, we're going to write that as a mixed, uh, that mixed number as a fraction greater than 1. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So this is going to be converted to 7 halves, 7 over 2. Okay, then we'll use repeated multiplication, 7 over 2 cubed. Okay, so 7 times 7 is 49, and I did 49 times 7 over here. Okay, so here's 7 times 7 is this 49, and then this leftover 7 is that third 7 right there. So 7 times 9 is 63. We'll carry the 6 on top right there. And then 7 times 4 is 28, plus 6 is 34. So it's 343. Okay, that's the, the numerator. The denominator is 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So it's 343 eighths right there. Okay, so now let's rewrite that as a mixed number. So now we divide 8 back into um, uh, 34. It goes in there 4 times. And that gets us 32, and then we subtract and bring down the next number. And then 8 goes into 23 twice, which is 16. And then we subtract, and we get 7. So, so we start at the top, 42 and 7 eighths, and go clockwise. So 42 and 7 eighths, okay? So, so that's what it equals right there. And so the volume of this cube is, remember, it's always in cubic units. So this is going to be in feet cubed, so it's going to be... Uh, 42 and 7 eighths feet cubed, or cubic feet, you might want to say. All right, you guys, take care.